Hey guys, it is Miss Sim Reno. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you are brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for another apartment renovation. And this time we are actually renovating a bigger unit. Surprise, surprise. I always renovate the same units over and over again. And typically they are these smaller units because these large ones actually intimidate me quite a lot. <laughs> but for my save file, it was about time that I started to play around with them a bit more. And now I'm not sure if this one will end up in my save file or not. I haven't really decided yet because I didn't go too far into the family development or anything like that. I was thinking that this was for a family though of two parents and two kids or maybe even two teenagers or a teenager and a kid, you know, like I said, didn't really think it through too much. But yeah, I don't know. I just really wanted to tackle something a little bit bigger and a little bit more challenging, at least for me. I think these are challenging for me as well because they take just as long as maybe one of my regular family home builds. Now, my builds typically run, I don't know, maybe 15 to like 30 minutes, depending on really how big it is or how like detailed it is. And granted, I did not go crazy with clutter in this build, so it really shouldn't be that long. But as you can see, it pretty much averaged around that time and it's just an apartment. So I didn't have to build like an outside structure or anything. So that's why they're a little intimidating to me. And when I do have that amount of time to spare, I really like to build an original structure. But anyway, I don't want to talk all the way through it because even though these are a bit intimidating to me, I loved this apartment. I loved how it came out and I hope that you guys like it too. This room is my absolute favorite in the entire apartment. It is so beautiful in my opinion. I used a lot of just natural tones, some creams, a little bit of white. I mean, the walls are white, but I tried not to use a lot of white furniture per se, just because I thought the cream was a lot warmer and a, a lot more welcoming. And I love the curtains I use too, because I don't get the opportunity to use those a lot because I don't use the medium or tall wall heights too often. And these are base game couches. Fun fact, never use these either. I thought they were absolutely perfect because along with the cream, there's just a lot of like darker and or natural wood tones that I used. And it's just so soft. And I love all the natural light that just pours into this room. I actually, I think this was the living space in the original floor plan as well. So I didn't really change that up. And honestly, I struggled to change it up when I did kind of sort of try off camera just because of all of these giant windows. I couldn't really divvy them up in a way that made sense. I think for a unit this big, I felt like a lot of the rooms would not be small. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't want to divvy this up. And it was honestly this big grand living space that I absolutely adored. And I do cut out a lot of the cluttering of these bookcases, by the way, there are three of them. And I spent a lot of time covering every single inch of every single shelf on each bookcase. So I showed a little bit of it just to kind of show what direction I was headed in. But then you'll see here that all of them are cluttered up. I had a couple of plants here and a mirror. I ended up scrapping this statue idea. I did really like it, but I think I just added like some artwork and whatnot. And I was even able to use this vase and look like the plant was kind of in it, but I move it to the hallway just because it was a little too big for that space. I even got to use all of those like get famous swatches of that painting in the black and white because I thought it really complemented the look I was going for and this is going to be the dining space slash the kitchen and even though it's a bigger unit and I kind of felt like the dining space should be separate from the kitchen I kind of made the sacrifice just because I didn't want to break up that living space I thought it was perfect the way it was and lo and behold I was able to fit a giant well I say giant, <laughs> a bigger dining table that I'm used to using in this space here and it fit perfectly. I loved that it was just far enough away from all of the archways kind of divvying up the hallway and the living space and it left plenty of room for the kitchen, which is exactly what I wanted. And to be honest, the kitchen was probably the most challenging part for me and mainly because it was just so big like I have not made a kitchen this big I didn't really know how to fill all of the space but I thought it was a great opportunity to actually build like a giant island as well so that's what I ended up doing here and I was even able to fit some bar stools I'm saying this as if I'm so surprised but honestly I 
literally don't build things that are this big or decorate things that are this big. So I was kind of shocked with how much I could truly fit in this amount of space. And it goes to show that I mainly build in smaller spaces and I'm, I don't know, I really focus on just cramming as much as I can and cluttering things up. And you'll kind of see that with me decorating these countertops is I was trying to fill them. They looked so empty and like barren and I didn't like it at all. So I kept trying to find decorations to fill up all of these counter spaces, whether it was plants or coffee bags or other miscellaneous clutter items for kitchens. I just felt like it needed more and it probably didn't, but I don't know. I also tried to keep it under control to an extent because I knew that if I covered every single counter, it just wouldn't look realistic either. So hopefully this level of decoration is something that you guys enjoy. And I have never actually used, I think these countertops inside. I've used them on exteriors before, but I think they came with the luxury, luxury party stuff. No, 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 no. The luxury patio stuff. Is that what it's called? It's like the patio stuff pack that we ended up getting a while ago. And I've only used them on exteriors and not interiors. So that was kind of exciting. And then I move on to the hallway, which Honestly, I don't really like. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love the rest of the build. The hallway spaces are not my favorite because they were a little challenging. With the white walls, I was, I had this like impulse to just cover them and fill them with stuff with varying colors, but I didn't want to go crazy. It seemed like a very, not minimalistic, but kind of a build that had a lack of clutter for the most part. Like the living space isn't cluttered. The kitchen isn't too cluttered. And I didn't want the hallway to feel super crowded either. I wanted it to feel very open. So and I, I'll kind of take it back. I kind of do like it, but I think it was just a little awkward with some of the placement of the items that I use. So I look forward to hearing what you guys think about the hallway space. I feel like hallways are always so hard to decorate. Does anyone else struggle with hallways or do you even build hallways actually? I feel like that's a good question because up until maybe a couple of months ago, I really didn't focus on hallway spaces because in The Sims, I mean, they are just empty space unless you put like skill building items or something. Like I probably would have gravitated towards putting a bookcase in the hallway, but I had three already in the living space, so I didn't even bother. But then I moved on to the first full bathroom. I believe there are two full bathrooms in this build. I honestly can't remember, but I, I think that's what I ended up striving for. And originally I was trying to make it a three bedroom as well, but at the very last minute, I decided to make that third bedroom a studio space. And you guys will see, I don't mean art studio, I mean like a music studio. And it's a little cramped, but I think I really like it still. And I play tested it and everything works. So that's even better. But the first thing I do is work on the master bedroom, which I thought was very, very cozy. I used this bed from the vintage glamour stuff question mark, I think. But I really liked this swatch and I thought it was just so, so beautiful. I don't think I've used it before, so it was really nice to be able to use it in this space. I even used some side tables that are actually from Base Game, as well as those lamps that are from Get Famous. So this was a great opportunity for me to use things that I just haven't used in some time. It's not that I haven't ever used a lot of these items, but I think I haven't used them in a really, really long time in a very intentional manner. You know, when I first started building, I played around with a lot of the base game items and tried to come up with different looks because I think there's really only like two styles you can go for, maybe three <laughs> with base game stuff. So I tried to mix things up a little bit when I first started building, but I think now being able to use some of these base game items with other packs has been Kind of rewarding to be honest and in their bedroom they do have another bookcase because i genuinely could think of nothing else i cluttered it up just like the other ones in the living space and this ends up being the kids slash teenagers bedroom i haven't really decided but there are some kid items and there are some items that just kind of look like youthful clutter is that <laughs> Is that fair to say like youthful clutter because I haven't decided if it's like a kid and a teenager or two kids or two teenagers or something like that? I, I feel like it works. And I did kind of struggle with this room at first because I, like I said, I didn't want it to be 
so so childish or so so mature in a lot of ways I wanted it to be kind of a healthy mix there is some clutter on the floor here and I ended up actually swapping out the white wallpaper I try a few different things I tried this one at first and it just looked way too formal and too fancy and I don't even make that decision for a while but I end up swapping it out for I think one that came with parenthood I think it's technically a paint instead of a wallpaper, but it kind of looks like there are mountains and it's just in black and white. There's no other swatches, which actually when I think about it, that's super weird to me. Like there's no other swatches of this whatsoever, but I thought it was just enough of an accent to everything else in the room that it kind of sort of worked. I even put some of the wall decals that look like tree branches that I think we got from the kids room stuff. I believe I put them behind each bed just to give it a little bit more dimension and they have a single desk so it's not like both of them could be working on homework or anything at the same time but they have a single desk they do have a bookcase as well and a dresser and just a couple of toys I believe too nothing too too crazy again I didn't want to designate particular interests for these sims at all just because I hadn't really thought through their personalities or anything like that so it's just kind of like a general generally or yeah generalized like decorated kid slash teenagers room I'm gonna stop saying kid slash teenager after I say it one more time but I'm gonna stop saying that now because you guys get the idea but <laughs> now I'm just decorating their bookshelf with just a couple of miscellaneous decoration items I haven't used this lunchbox in a while so that was kind of nice to use not that I was like thinking about anything in particular but I just wanted to use it and there's like a toy car and I think I end up just putting like this little knitted penguin which I absolutely adore and then just a little robot toy and a plant you know just to fill the spaces honestly and this is one of my favorite bookshelves to do that in so I was really happy about it and then I clutter up the top of the dresser with even more kid decorations and I love love that little sculpture that we got with Discover University and I also gave them this model ship. I think that's the only thought I did have is that they really liked, I don't know, ships and like boats and stuff like that. Maybe one of them really does like sailing. So I guess I did kind of give some of them a little bit of thought, but not too much. <laughs> and this is the second full bathroom. So I did give them two full bathrooms. And in this one, they do have laundry, which I thought was a nice addition with a, an apartment like this size. I felt like laundry was kind of a necessity, like you wouldn't be going to a laundromat if you had this nice big luxury apartment, that's at least my thought. And this is the entryway, which I actually completely forgot I was going to put one of those four tile um, kind of sort of walk-in closets. I was going to put one there, that's why I actually walled it off, and now that I'm watching the footage I feel so silly because... I just made it an entryway and I didn't put the closet there so you guys could absolutely swap it out if you wanted to and this ends up being the little recording studio which was not the plan going in there I was just kind of like what could I do with this and I started putting down some of these skill building items and I was like wait a minute this could work this is actually really cool because we have that window from get to work that is only one-way glass and I thought that was so so neat so I separated it here I put the one-way glass window so basically on the other side those that are helping with you know the mixing and everything can look in at the band the band can't see them granted I don't think that's authentic to a recording studio but I just thought it was a little bit different you know what I mean I was gonna put this video station here but it's just a little too big for the space you couldn't access it so I just end up swapping it out for a desk and a computer and it works just fine so that was actually really really neat but I hope you guys did enjoy this it was a lot of fun for me and I can't wait to hear your thoughts and I will catch you guys next time I post a video and I'll talk to you soon bye